So let's get painting guys all drawn out and we're going to use Big Brian as our first big brush biggest guy in the loose gang and we're just going to throw on some drops and areas of water so it's a variation it's not just all over the place and it's not just the same size of dots of water it's a variation that's all it is let's mix up a little bit of uh, blue light blue and we're just dabbing that on now look how it catches the water and it floats about within the water area so that's all it's about we're just plonking the brush down if you feel like plonking a brush down this is the one for you so just floating the brush over we're not dragging it we're just dabbing it and again big shapes and small shapes clean that brush off very important we don't want to be carrying the previous color over and we're going for cobalt blue now and again guess what we're doing we're just dabbing we're just dabbing so big shapes small shapes that's all we're doing and letting the brush big Brian do all of the work you could almost sit back and watch the painting just come to life clean the brush I quite often say that I'll say it again clean that brush a little bit of water now just within the bottle area but I don't know if you notice it's just not completely covered with water it's just down the one side and this time it's down the left drag it down across the bottom with a weak light blue royal blue and then we just pull the shape across with the color we've got on the brush and maybe the stuff that's already there back into cobalt blue and just follow the shape round a little bit of line and just dabbing in and you see the uh, moisture on the paper allows the paint just to nicely float about little mini Dave's appeared where have you been mini Dave you've not been walking around the park again have you looking at the sky it's mini Dave little dagger brush great little brush we just get a bit of water on Mini Dave and we're just running this around the previous colours that we've got on for the florals. Yeah. So Mini Dave is part of the Loose Gang brushes. They're the brushes I've had specially uh, made. So if you'd like to uh, look into those, just drop onto the uh, link in the description and that will take you over there to uh, consider. Um, whether they're right for you and they're right for me um, but it's down to you guys bit of water cobalt blue just dropping that into the color this extends the color it moves it about more imagine if you're just doing that dry with a dry brush it's just going to scrape on the surface and not go too far adding water allows it to go to totally different avenues sap green mixed with a little bit of cobalt blue getting a darker green there and again notice we'll just use the shape of the brush look at that explosion into the color that's already there this is the beauty of loose watercolors it allows this to happen compare it to dry brush work a lot of work there a lot of building up this throw it down see what happens this simple method will allow this to happen again keep replenishing the brush with a little bit more pigment placing the brush down using the tip of the brush sometimes the side on flat side of the brush and that gets a bigger area covered and again we just dive in and it doesn't matter particularly about getting the color right every time a variation of color is good that's what nature is it's not just one color it's how the light affects each object so the colors I've got on the palette if you've not got them do not worry just choose the nearest color you've got to them a light blue a mid blue light green 
mid green if that's the case but I tell you who's now here Miss Rigger's arrived did you hear the fanfare yes Miss Rigger great great brush for line work look at the way it just floats that on and she is if you don't mind me saying Miss Rigger quite a large brush long brush very slender but a long brush and this is how we're just picking out with a little bit of Indian red through the gaps in the floral air and the florals so those gaps that we left now they're paying dividends because that is uh, allowing us to join everything together at the end as opposed to at the beginning and then adding petals and leaves and flowers to the branches we don't need to do that do it the other way around little bit of uh, cobalt blue and Indian red mixed together getting a darker branch or two in there again light affects every object in different ways so you don't just get one color imagine that's how uh, if you look at a tree if you really look at the tree you'll see different tones in there and that's really the light mostly affecting the uh, the object Again through the bottle there, Miss Rigger just flicking that little line down. The classic Miss Rigger flick that really should be in the Olympics. She used to be a professional dancer, now she's a professional painter. She's just uh, jumped ship and gone to another job which she enjoys just as much if not better. You know, a little bit of royal blue now just picking out a water line in the bottle. Just easily placed on and a few little lines just to give the bottle a bit more effect but see how this all came together very quickly with hardly any effort we're not forcing the painting at all we don't do that we don't need to do that picking out a bit of detail with a bit of uh, cobalt blue there And little mini Dave's diving back in. Oh, he's a good fella. Cobalt blue. Now using mini Dave to get little smaller marks on to define a few more uh, delicate florals in there. Sensitively done, and that's the uh, that's the benefit of little mini Dave there. So if you'd like to uh, see the the full version of this. Uh, with uh, full narration and all of the colours plus the pencils and all the other bits and bobs uh, just drop on to loosewatercolors.com there's a click link at the end and uh, not only this video but this 350 plus more videos that you can choose from that will keep you going for quite a week or two I feel so if it's styles for you you want to explore it a bit more you can stay for a month and uh, see how you get on but a lot of people stay for a long time and they're just waiting for the next one to come out so little taps just to finish it off stronger color a little bit of stronger thicker pigment there all that you need so fabulous so uh, well done guys thank you so much for uh, watching and painting along and uh, as I say, if you'd like to see more, just drop onto the website. No obligation, you can unsubscribe whenever you like, but like I say, a lot of people stay for a long, long time. And uh, also, if I could uh, ask you to uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, just click the subscribe button on at the end there, and uh, this will allow me um, to be, produce a lot more videos for you to enjoy at your leisure and have a great great time so uh, thanks again guys you've been absolute stars see you again very very soon